Andre Edwards with Caribbean Updates. Barbados Stock Exchange to begin crypto trading. The Barbados Stock Exchange is to join the blockchain revolution by soon opening up a market for crypto assets, Barbados Stock Exchange Managing Director Marlon Yard has revealed. The Stock Exchange is anticipating regulatory approval for the trade in securitized digital tokens while proceeding on a three-pronged plan to boost the exchange global profile, he said. Crypto asset is the umbrella term for a digital asset or token which uses cryptography, peer-to-peer -peer networking, and a public ledger to regulate the creation of new units, verify transactions, and secure the transactions without a middleman's intervention. With the onset of the tokenization revolution, the Barbados Stock Exchange is focused on facilitating and trading of those securitized tokens. Three Caribbean candidates, Peter Harrison, Alicia Trotman and Carrie Ann Richards have been elected to leadership roles at the American Registry of Internet Numbers. Aaron is one of the five internet registries worldwide that coordinate the distribution and administration of number resources. The registry serves the United States, Canada, and several territories in the Caribbean. Bevel Wooding, Caribbean Outreach Liaison at Aaron, said, the Caribbean should be very proud of the achievement of Peter, Alicia, and Carrie Ann in the Aaron elections. They are highly qualified to serve each possessing both the technical knowledge and firm grasp of the unique dynamics of the Aaron community in the Caribbean. I expect they will make a positive impact on Aaron, its diverse community, and more broadly on development of the internet in the region. During Internet Week Trinidad and Tobago, held by the Caribbean Network Operators Group, Caribnob, Google, the Internet Society, the Latin America and Caribbean Internet Registry, LACNIC, and the Ministry of Public Administration, Trinidad and Tobago, parallel capacity building sessions were held. Caribnob hosted its 16th regional meeting, focused mainly on cybersecurity. Joint workshops were held by LACNIC and Google, aimed to enhance local connectivity and strengthen the ecosystem for entrepreneurs. A LACNIC Google two-day workshop covered the nuts and bolts of internet connectivity and traffic optimization. The Internet Society highlighted the organization's ongoing global work in establishing community networks and strengthening the resiliency of telecommunications and computer networks. LACNIC also held a closed-door cybersecurity workshop with the support of the Office of the Attorney General and Ministry of Legal Affairs, Trinidad and Tobago, seeking to address emerging cybersecurity issues across the region and to establish computer security incident response teams.